y'all welcome back to or welcome to my channel my name is Brianna and today we are talking about new age that's what y'all call it new age spirituality but I just say spirituality because it's not new age a lot of people have questions about this and they don't know where to start or they don't know what it is they don't know where to begin they don't understand anything about it so I'm just gonna break down the basics of it and teach y'all some things and make sure you watch the whole video so you can understand the true purpose of spirituality, which I'm going to explain a little bit later. Of course, they gave it a name as they do everything else, which the name is New Age Spirituality because it's something that they're not used to knowing about. So it's new to them. But basically, it's a collection of various practices that have been done for many, many years. These things have been done throughout history, especially in places other than America, such as India, Asian countries, and especially Africa. So stay tuned to the end so you can find out the whole purpose of spirituality. I'm going to break it down very simple for y'all. So stay tuned to the end for that. So religion, organized religion, is so popular because it is marketed to the world as the one truth, when actually it's not the one truth. Religion contains a set of rules and regulations that when given to people on the basis of fear is very powerful in terms of mass control. Christians are so blinded by the religion that they don't even think about the origin of it, where it came from, how it started, or the fact that there are many thriving and happy people before Christianity even existed. What about the people who follow Judaism, Buddhism, African spirituality? Did they all go to hell for not believing in Jesus who didn't even exist yet? It's so popular to this day because it was used as psychological warfare throughout history with various groups of people, not just the African slaves, but before there were African slaves. But within the realm of spirituality, non-religious, there are tools that will help you to evolve, such as crystals, yoga, meditation, and various other things. So the purpose of spirituality is to cultivate your relationship with God, your personal relationship with God which can look like many different things depending on the person that you are and the spirit that you have. Just as everybody will have a different dietary plan, different medicines that are prescribed to them or not prescribed to them, different allergies or different workout routines that work best for them. Every single person has spiritual gifts and everybody has a purpose in this life, no matter how big or small it is. Spiritual gifts do not have to be the obvious ones such as psychic knowing or being a medium and seeing spirits, but it could simply be the gift of healing through speech, through comedy, through storytelling, helping other people to discover their own gifts, and even teaching people how to use those gifts. So wherever your journey leads you is up to you. Whatever feels best for you is always going to be what's right for you. And that's going to vary from person to person. So what you do is you find what intrigues you and you learn more about it. You practice it and you become an expert in it. And that's where you will find your true purpose. So really whatever you enjoy doing. And that's why entertainers have so much fun and they get paid so much because they're doing what they love to do. It's effortless and they are living in their purpose. Well, of course, not everybody in the entertainment industry is happy but that's because they lose sight of what it's really about which is sharing your gift and living in your purpose i will say this a million times on my channel so if you're tired of it then you can leave but nothing is inherently evil so that means that anything can be used for good and anything can be used for evil the same thing the same object could be used for good or evil and just because you don't understand it does not make it wrong for other people to do the purpose is to learn your truth and to live in that no matter what, including if you are religious and if that's your truth, then live in that. But the problem is that religious people, they're so blinded and they're so brainwashed that they think that anything outside of that is evil and it's bad. When really y'all need to be focusing on y'all own stuff and not focusing on us because we didn't do nothing to you. It's a problem when you're downplaying others for what their truth is and what they believe in. So there will be many more videos about this subject, but I just wanted to give a basis for y'all so y'all can understand um, in a simple way what the purpose of spirituality is because a lot of people just participate and they don't know, they don't understand what they're doing and why. So... And then a lot of people, they get scared back into religion because they feel like 
if you use tarot cards or if you carry crystals or if you do yoga that you're demonic and that's not right so we're gonna keep talking about this um <laughs> let me know what y'all think in the comments below what is your religion or what are your spiritual beliefs please share them with everybody because i'm genuinely interested and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video